back today and I'm going to be doing a video that I hope you'll really like because the first time I did this video I got so many like good feedback, so much good feedback from you guys and I've been asked to do like home decor in the past but I don't really like to do like home tours or things, I don't know why it's just, that's like such a production, I, feel, I don't know, I wouldn't even know how to do it. So I like, walk around my camera, I don't know. So I'm just gonna do it like like little by little, like I like doing it, I think it's more personal that way. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you three different ways, or three different ways that I decorate my coffee table. And I feel like my coffee table is more like a living thing, it's all, I'm always changing it. Um, I'm not buying new things for it, I'm just, I have things that I go to, uh, when I go to thrift stores and flea markets and garage sales, little things I collect and I like to display them and use them in different ways. So I hope you guys like this and I'm sure you have so much stuff already like around the house that you can decorate your coffee table with. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys like this and I'll see you later, bye. Okay, so here's my first coffee table look. And before I get started, I'm just going to tell you guys about the coffee table because if you don't follow my blog, then you might not have um, known about the trunk. So I have gotten a new coffee table since the last coffee table that you guys have seen on YouTube. And I, like every girl, every girl, I guess, not every girl, but lots, lots of girls look, would love to have an a Louis Vuitton vintage trunk. And I never thought it was, gonna, it was in my future. I never even thought I could even, like, ever afford one. So one day, I was lucky enough because my dad likes to uh, participate in auctions, like online auctions, because he collects antique bottles. So one day on an online auction, he saw this chest, this trunk, a Louis Vuitton trunk, and he knew I always wanted one. So we saw that the bidding was going pretty slow, and I ended up getting it for a really good price, like substantially less than anyone might see in like a store or online or anything. And they're just, they're really, really honestly like amazing pieces and they can be used in so many different ways in the house. And I'm just I'm so happy to have um, to have gotten this. Um, it, it's awesome. I got it actually, it was back east. It was in Virginia or something online. It was an auction being held in Virginia, I believe. Anyway, so yeah, this is my new trunk. And I knew I've had it for about seven months now, but I'm gonna show you guys how I um, decorate it or how use it for as coffee table. And obviously you guys can, don't have to have a trunk to do what I'm doing with this decorate, decorating. Okay, so I'm, because this trunk has like three almost like uh, wood strips here with uh, studs, like gold studs on all throughout them, it's not exactly a, a smooth surface. So I got this because it gives it kind of like a smooth surface of some sort. And I was thinking about getting like a glass top for this or like a lucite kind of or like plastic box. But I don't know if I want to commit to that yet because I don't know. I don't even know if I would think a, a glass piece would like kind of be wobbly on here because it's, it's vintage, antique, and it's kind of like not exactly s straight. I could, I could get a black glass top. Maybe I should, but I'm not doing that right now. So for the first look, this is the look that I have currently on my table. And I'm going to start with... Where is it? With my Target candle. I got this candle at Target on sale, I think like a long time ago, a year ago, and it was like $5. But it's a really kind of tall, cute, good piece, and I like the kind of muted color of it because I can put it with anything. So I'm just going to put that there. And you guys are looking at me from the couch, so this is where you, how you're looking is actually the way you're going to see it. Next is this flower arrangement. And if I don't have flowers, I will probably just put another candle or something, but I do have flowers this week. And this little vase is from Target. It's a Target um, Sony collection they had like two years ago. And these flowers are China mums. So I'm just gonna put those in here like that. And I hope the angling is right. I'm not on that side so I can't see quite well as you. Okay, the next over here, I also want to protect it somehow. So I always put like magazines or um, books or something. And right now for this one, I'm going to put these big magazines. And they're old, but I like them because they're, the colors match and I don't know, I like them. So the one I'm going to put on top is this gray one with the white or the light pink W. I just like it. And I'm not going to make them perfect. I'm just going to kind of put them on like that. So then I also have candle, and it's just a white candle, so a regular white candle because it's unscented. Um, so I could just put it like down. I'm sorry for all the noise. 
noise outside. Um, but I'm going to actually use this little dish that I got from, uh, I think it was a flea market. I think you guys might have seen this already, and it's just gold and white porcelain dish. It's vintage, and um, I'm just going to put it in there like that. I hope the angling's right, but I'll check in a second. Okay, so then um, matches. I have this little Jonathan Adler pottery piece, and it had a candle in it before, and, and it smelled so good, and I want another one, but it's actually pretty expensive for a candle. So I think that, I, the reason I bought it is I knew that I could take the candle out after I used it and use it as like a pottery piece or like a, a catch-all. So I'm gonna put, I put all my um, matches and things in here for the candles. Set that there. And then for it's in color, I'm using this Veluspa candle right now. And it's like really pretty kind of teal color. And that's it. Oh no, one more thing. Coasters. So the coasters I'm going to use are also by Jonathan Adler. And they're like a whimsical kind of coaster and they say funny things on them. And I'm just going to kind of set those like there. So that's the first look. So now for the second look, I'm also going to keep this, um, this Lucite tray on here. I got this from CB2. I don't think I said that in the last look. CB2. It's like Crate and Barrel's younger, I think, um, younger, younger store or younger, I don't know. Anyway, that's where I got it. Um, and I always leave that there because it just kind of protects it. So this look is going to be more fun and like colorful and stuff. So then I have this vase with pink Gerber daisies in it, and this vase is from Jonathan Adler. I really love that. I've had that for a couple of years now, and I just really think it's, it's different and pretty. Uh, then I'm going to use this. Actually, am I? No. It doesn't do that. What do I want to use? I'm going to use black, I think. I want it to be like more like neon and pink, so I want to protect this side, so I always put like books. This is a black, just like bound book. I got it from a thrift store and it's on China. So that like that, so it gives like some protection. And coasters. These are like diamond almost, or like gem coasters. They're from Kate Spade. They're really cute. I'm gonna put the pink one on top for that. And then I also always like putting my candles on something. I feel like it just looks kind of boring like that. So I either use like, um, these are vintage style martini glasses, or not martini, champagne glasses. So I always, I use them for mar uh, champagne, but I also use them for candles, something like that. But I think I want to use more black. So I'm going to use this one. And I got this black milk glass piece from my flea market a while ago, years ago. I think it looks neat with a candle that like that. Again, I can't see the angling from over there, but. Okay, and then, let's see, I need more books, and I feel like it's not colorful enough. I have this one, and it's black, and I think it goes with this look. It's vintage cocktails. I got it on Amazon, I think. That. And then. This is a Louis Vuitton book that a lot of people have, and I just like it because the, the cover, and it's a pretty coffee table book. Set it like that. And just like with clothes, I like layering, I think. So I feel like this book here kind of feels lonely, so I'm gonna take this Elle Decor magazine, and it has like a neon Elle Decor title, so I think it'll look pretty like framing this book, and it does. I'll take pictures of all this from a top so you guys can see. But I think it's all about layering and grouping, I think. So then these, I'm going to put them there, the posters. Then it matches for the candle, and this is actually a little soap dish. It's like a black milk glass soap dish, and it's in like a, a woman bathing, and her feet are in the pool, but it's, um, I actually just put matches in it. So I'll put that like that. And then, let's see, 
what else? I like to add little bits of interest too, even though um, it's maybe not really useful. I just think it looks pretty. I have this old card uh, card holder. I also got it in an, an antique store. I might have gotten it at a thrift store, I don't remember. But it's just like a leather, oh, that's at a garage sale, I remember now. Um, it's like a leather bound or wrapped card case, and it has little like cards and spades and um, diamond, you know, card markings embossed in it. It's really cute. I think that looks good like that. Um, I guess just one candle for this look is fine. I might usually have two. Like it might, if I didn't have flowers, I might have like a big candle there or something like that. So yeah, that's the second look. And then one more look to come. Okay, so for my third look, I'm going to be using little things that I picked up when I was in Shanghai. And you guys know that I have like a slight obsession with having lived in China and things like that. So I always like to try to incorporate the Chinese style in my decor somehow. So um, this one's going to be like blue and silver and things like that. So I'm going to keep this here again, as usual. And I'm going to use some of my mercury glass. Even though this isn't Asian, I feel like it's okay. I'm very eclectic in my style, in my decor. So I'll just, um, I like to mix things. So these are two candles. And I, like, I can't see the dement or like the, how it's laid out from your angle, but. So that goes like that. And then I'm going to, I'm going to use the big black Chinese book again here, like that. And then I'm trying to keep the tones lighter. Um, like these magazines, these L magazines um, have kind of muted blue and greenish tones. So I think I'll put those like that. And the L book I used before is kind of nice too. So maybe I'll just leave that like that. I'm trying to remember or think how I might have done it before. I know I did this look before and I really liked it. Scoot this up. And I have these two little antique food dogs that I did show you guys in a, in a video before from my Shanghai haul. And they're antique and they're actually um, like stamps. I, I don't know though for what, but they're all porcelain or glass. That. And then this candle, it's just a white candle, and I got this dish also when I was in Shanghai. And it's, they say that it was, I got it from an antique dealer there, and they said it was vintage, but it's really hard to tell, especially if you don't speak the language fluently, if you're getting ripped off or not. But it had a little bunny right in the center, so I really liked it. And I'm going to put a candle in it like that. Maybe I'll do that, let's see. Now it needs like some depth. Like that, and then I'll put both of these here. That looks better. I wish I had eyes over there too. <laughs> and then I'm gonna put this flower, and this is a little um, vase, a little round vase. Can't tell from where I am how it looks. And then I need matches again, and I'll probably, let's see, I could use this for matches matches in it but I don't know if that looks right so I might just keep the same one that I had last time a little Adler dish it probably looks funny but something like that and I think that's it for that one I'm going to take pictures, like I said, of each one afterwards so we can see exactly how I, I did it. But I hope you guys like this video. I know that you guys really liked my first coffee table video I did. And you're always asking for kind of like lifestyle or home videos, so I hope you like this. And everyone's doing really well. I'll see you later. Bye.